I'm going to read the Monkey Me and the Pesho. Chapter 8. Pesho. You being a monkey at the Pesho could be trouble. Claudia said, Ha! I said, Trouble is my middle name. My sister almost laughed. Then you stopped walking. Maybe we should go home, Clyde. But we're almost there, I said. I could see the Pesho up ahead. It was Saturday morning. Claudia and I stood on the sidewalk and watched people and their pets head into the large building. I was excited and I bounced, but I had not yet changed into monkey me. Claudia thought it would be best to wait until later. You really think you can't win, Clyde? Claudia asked. Of course. Once Jogis see what I can do, I said. Life stand on my head and do flips and maybe even talk. Clyde, Claudia yelled. Just kidding, I said. But what if someone find out your secret? Claudia asked. Don't want. They won't, I said. What if you can change back from from a monkey to a boy? She asked. I look at my sister Worry's face. She don't know how the change. We don't know how the changing works. She said. What if something bad happens? I pass to think. Claudia is smart and likes to look ahead to what might happen. But so do I. What if everything goes as planned? I ask her, and I win, and uh, we finally feed, defeat Rose and Chopper. Claudia almost grinned, but something bad could still happen, she said. What, what are you talking about? Rose asked as she stepped in front of us. You're not going to chicken out, are you? No, I said. Chopper looked at me and growled. She, he, was, he was like a nightmare. I wish you'd go away forever. So, where's your monkey, Claudia? Ross looked at me and chuckled. I mean, your other monkey, the smart bird. Chopper grinned. Ross laughed her as she la- led her dog inside. We headed into the building. In the huge center room, we saw lots of pen- fancy pets. Wow, Claudia said. Some of these animals must be worth lots of money. I look at the fancy cat. Then I look for a place to change. Come on, Claudia, I said. I- I'm still worried something bad might happen to you, Claudia said. I can't back. Oh now I said I sneak into a side hallway to change. I thought of exciting things like summer vacation, banana pudding, the fitting bras and chopper. Is it working? Claudia asked. My head started spinning, my heart raced. Faster and faster. I sneezed. Ah chew. Oh my god. It worked. Chapter nine. Gotcha. Clyde? Clyde! Ta da! I'm not sure this is a good idea. Of course it is. Come on, Claudia. It's time to win the pet show. Be careful, Claudia. Of what? Wow, I love animals. So do I. Of course, right now I am one. I hope none of the pets wander of and get lost. Why are, why are you looking at me? We don't want trouble, Clyde. Too late, here comes trouble. Help, Ross, wrong. What's wrong, Ross? Chopper is missing. Missing what? His brain? Ha ha ha. What happened to him? He knew I'd win. Where could Chopper be? With a chicken? Ha ha ha. My cat is missing. My dog is missing. Yum, a banana. Something strange is going on, Clyde. Clyde, slow down, banana. I'm not going to hurt you. Well, maybe a little. Pounce. Ha ha, got you. Ha ha, got you. <laughs> Chapter 10. Pen nippers. Who turned out the lights? And where am and where, and where am I going? Yikes, I'm being panned but they'll never keep me quiet. I screamed. I'll shout for help. Here, 
Once I finish eating, put them in the warehouse. Wow, look at them all. I feel sorry for the animals and for me. Chopper? Yes, this place is scary. We'll sleep, we'll ship the animals out tonight to the store, to the circus. We'll sell them for a lot of money. Really scary. You think he knows what's going on? Of course not. He's just an animal. He's not smart. Why weird? Then why do I have your keys? <laughs> uh oh! Look, should should we go go after him? Why? He can't stop us. He's just a monkey. Chapter eleven. What happened? I was still shaking when I got home. I quickly dressed. Then I put my hand into Claudia's bedroom. Hi, you're alive. My sister smiled and gave me a big hug. I was so worried about you, she said. I tried to pull away, but couldn't. Are you okay, Claudia? I asked. I nodded a little. I should never have taken to you to the pet show, Claudia hung me tighter. Because I knew you would turn into a monkey, she sent me on the edge of her bed. And when you turn into a monkey, Clyde, bad things can happen. Lots of owners at the pet show thought they lost their pets. Claudia said, "But I thought I lost my brother." My sister face looked super sad. For a moment, I look away from Claudia, at her toys, at her model rockets. But I didn't feel like playing. I stretched for you at. at I searched for you everywhere in the patio, holding Clyde. Claudia said, "So where are you?" I thought about the warehouse, about the panapers, about escaping, escaping from the my cage. I should have been happy, but I wasn't. The show was canceled. Canceled. Claudia said, because there were so many past one dates. That's one missing. One's missing. One missing. I know this lovely. I could see them in my mind, locked in cages in the cold, cold under a warehouse. They look hungry and scared. Even Ross was up, upset. Claudia said she was worried about lo- losing Chopper and Green as I thought about my life without a. Be a bulldog. No more running away or being trapped up the tree. It was just what I want. Wanted. But then I picture Chopper's face as I race from the warehouse. He looked scared, just like the other animals. It made me feel sick. Are you okay, Claude? Claudia asked. Yes, I said. Why? Because you're still. Stand still, and you'll never stand still. Unless she, something's wrong, she let she leaned closer. So what is it, Clyde? I was pent up and locked in the cage in an old warehouse. I said. Clyde's eyes grew wider. It was horrible. I said. And tonight the panapers were planning to sell all the animals. But I guess then it's good that you escaped. Yes, it is. I said, but the other animals were still in danger, and I feel bad about leaving them be- behind. Claudia sat on the bed next to me, but I don't want to talk about it. I said. Claudia placed her hand up on my shoulder and smiled. You just did, Clyde. All right, I said, and it feels good getting it out. But it also made me realize what I need to do next. Chapter twelve. Ready for action. 
This is Spooky Clyde, Claudia said. They sneak into the narrow alley behind the warehouse. It was dark and hard to see. Yikes, Claudia thumbed down hard. Ouch! Oh, sorry, Claudia said. You need to stay... You need to calm down, I said. You mean like you were? Claudia pointed, pointed as I bounced a little. Okay, so I'm excited, I said. It's how I get when I'm ready for action. I stepped around the box and tried opening the warehouse door, but it was locked. How do we get in? Claudia asked. We? I said. You're not going in. You're my lookout. So I'm here just to watch the warn, warn you if someone comes. Claudia asked, and be, and because you're as worried about the animal as I am, I glance up at an open window near at the top of the warehouse. So what's your plan? Claudia asked. I grinned to turn into a monkey and have some fun. Clyde, Claudia said. Okay, I said, here it is. My plan is to sneak inside, unlock the cages, and, and lead. Lead, the, lead the animals to freedom. And to be careful, Claudia said. Like I always am, I said. I step back to look up and... Oops, I looked at the box and tripped over. Are you sure you can do this, Clyde? Claudia held me to my feet. I have to, I said. Claudia, no worries. I'll be fine, I said. Once I change into, into you know what. Be careful, Clyde, Claudia said. I will, I said. I closed my eyes and thought about exciting things. Let's keep worrying down the school hallway, eating the banana split. Freeing the panapped animals. My head started spinning. My heart raced. Faster and faster. I sneezed at you. Chapter 13. Caught. Clyde, ta-da! You ready? Ready! I'm off to save the day. Great! And I'm off to get some real help. Of course, humans were smarter than animals. That, that's why the animal were, animals were locked in cages. And we have the keys. Run, run, you're free. Uh-oh, Trapper looks hungry. Phew, that was close. I thought I was in trouble. You, do, you won't get away this time. Haha, <laughs> got you. Uh oh, they got us. Claudia, need help, Clyde? You have a big cage? No, but the people I brought to. It's called Gel. You're a hero, Clyde, but about to be eaten. Look! This is what I deserve for the frame chopper. Leak! Chapter 14. Not again. On Monday morning, the school was busy. Fourteen. Busy. Everyone was talking about what happened on Saturday. Calm down, Clyde, Claudia said. I can't, I said. My sister grabbed my arms as I tried to run into the school building. The panappers have been captured. The animal has been freed. And the police said it was because of an, an unknown hero. I wish I could tell everyone it was me, I said to Claudia. Don't you dare, she said. The principal will know you're the monkey and catch you. Claudia pointed to Cl Principal Murphy carrying her bean nut down the hallway. Okay, so I couldn't tell anyone, but I, at least I could see the realest of what, realest of what I had done. The pets were happy. The pet owner were happy. Even Ross were happy. I think I had to see much of her that morning, and that made me happy. When I got to my classroom, I sat on my desk and bounced a little. Quiet last, Miss Plum said. Then she told us to take out our math homework. 
Oops, I said, is something wrong, Clyde? My teacher asked. I forgot to do my homework, I said. I guess I was too busy last weekend. Miss Lon stared. Doing what? I had to say something, but I knew I couldn't tell her the truth. Luckily, just then, Principal Murphy walked into the room. She had in my teacher a note to read. This, the, the class picture that was taken last Friday is missing, Miss Plum told us. I look at Claudia and Green. So today we will be taking a new one, Miss Plum said. Yippee! I yelled, and I accept you to behave. Miss Plum looks there straight at me. Now she led my class to the lunch room. Princess Murphy followed with her peanut. The monkey would not get away this time, she said. Miss Miss Plum lined us up just like before. And no monkey business, Clyde. Claudia whispered. Got it. I nodded. Yeah, ready to smile, the man with the camera said. I, I bounced as I tried to see who was going to bring the picture this time. Calm down, Claudia whispered. I can't. I bounced higher. Quiet, Claudia said. My head started spinning. My heart raced faster and faster. I sneezed. Achoo! Then I heard the camera go click, click. 